This is a great way to think about anemia questions. If all the cell lines are low and the retic count is like zero almost, think aplastic anemia. The bone marrow is just not making enough cells. In contrast, if you see schistocytes and like retic counts are up, that's a problem with destruction, not production. And if the marrow is packed with blasts and, fibro and fibrosis, then that's going to be infiltration. Okay, so check the retic count, organomegaly, and the peripheral smear, and it'll tell you everything. Okay, so if the retic count, I'm going to say this again, is low, aplastic anemia because they're, they're just not making cells. If there are schistocytes, then it's destruction problem. And if there are fibrosis and, and blasts that are infiltrating, it's an infiltration problem. So here's our 20 year old woman with bleeding and fatigue. She's got some anemia. Look at that, it's low, it's low, it's low. What is most likely? Well, it's aplastic anemia because it's all low. CML would have increased, at least the white blood cells would be increased. Hypersplenism, you need splenomegaly. ITP, only the platelets would be low. That's the immune problem against the platelets. And B12 deficiency MCV would be high. There you go. If this is helpful, like and subscribe.